Let's play Texas Rangers Immaculate Grid next here on the Texas Rangers Clubhouse. Hey there, my name is Jeff Bates of the Texas Rangers Clubhouse, where we talk about the Texas Rangers Major League Baseball, and sometimes we play Texas Rangers version of Immaculate Grid. It's just the Immaculate Grid that you know and love, and we add Texas Rangers to the mix with each and every grid. Let's get to today's game and stick around because there's going to be a little, little bit of a hint at something extra special for you guys who watch the channel hope you like it top row you got the phillies you got 30 plus save season you got 200 plus wins in a career along the left you got our texas rangers you got the cleveland guardians indians back in the day and you got the chicago white Sox. let's play texas rangers immaculate grid so we Texas by each and every grid. And we didn't have to bother with that this time because the top left, you got the Phillies, you got the Tiger, Tigers, you got the Phillies and you got the Rangers. When I think of Rangers who went and played in Philly, I think of Michael Young, one of the greatest Rangers of all time. One of my favorites, Michael Young, top left, pretty easy one. If you're playing for rarity, that's not the way to go. I don't play for rarity. If you watch the show, you know that. Michael Young, he was a Philly. He was a Ranger. He is our top left in our, on our, in our, with our, for our grid today next 30 plus save season with the rangers a bunch of people you could pick here i went with my favorite rangers closer of all time joe nathan we haven't had a lot of great closers josh hater are you listening joe nathan is the first name that i think of as as a great closer who played for the rangers we haven't had a lot joe nathan 24 percent on my rarity again if you're playing for rarity don't go with nathan uh 200 plus career wins rangers uh max scherzer max scherzer he's on the team now i could go into the wayback machine but max is on the team now he's got more than 300 career wins that's an obvious one again not playing for rarity here I like playing with the guys who are on our team now. Let's get to the middle row. You got the Phillies and you got the Cleveland Guardians or Indians back in the day. When I think of Cleveland Indians who played here, I think of Cliff Lee. He came over. He did some unbelievable things for the Rangers. A big number, 19% on the rarity. Cliff Lee, he was with Cleveland. He was with Philly. And again, for our game, he was a Ranger. Cliff Lee, there you go. Right in the middle, I call it the center cut. 30 save season for Cleveland, and he played for us. Wish we would have kept this guy. Corey Kluber? No. Emmanuel Classe. We got Kluber for Classe. I think we gave up Classe and more than that. Regardless, he's elite top four, top five closer in all of baseball. Has been for the past few years. Would look really good in Texas Rangers blue. But... It's for not. He is a guardian. They say he's up on the trade block right now. I would love, love, love for us to get him. Who knows? Anyway, 30 plus season for Cleveland, and he pitched for the Rangers, Emmanuel Classe. Staying in this row, staying in Cleveland, 200 plus career wins. I use this guy a lot. Why? He put up some stats. He pitched for a long time. He's a Hall of Famer. 3,000 strikeouts, 300 wins, which is more than 200 wins is what you need here. He pitched in Cleveland. He pitched in Texas. He pitched in pretty much everywhere in America. Gaylord Perry is the grid on the far right in the center today. That takes us to the bottom row. Let's go. Phillies, White Sox, Julio Franco, another guy that I use a lot in the grid. If you played for the Rangers, you played for a lot of teams. I use you a lot. Gaylord Perry, probably first among the pitchers. Julio Franco, probably first among the hitters. White Sox, Philly, Julio Franco. Now this next guy, well, there's a little story here. This one is 30 plus save season, White Sox. And for our purposes, you had to also be a Texas Ranger. There's only one that I could find in his name. Ed Farmer. Ed Farmer pitched for the White Sox. He has one of their best save seasons ever. He got 30 more than 30 saves. He pitched in the 1980 World Series. He had a crazy altercation, which we're going to get to in a minute. But he had a 30 save season for the White Sox. He did pitch for the Rangers for a little bit. That name will be Ed Farmer. We'll finish the game, but we're going to come back to Ed Farmer, so stick around. 200-plus career wins and a White Sox. And for our game, pitched for the Rangers. One of my favorites of all time, Charlie Huff. I, as I've said before, I grew up a Dodger fan in Southern California. Charlie Huff, part of that 1977 top set that I talked about that I love so much. Charlie Huff, um, I think he was the first pitcher ever for the Marlins. First starter, I'm pretty sure he was. Played here for a long time. Got a big, beautiful mural of him inside the ballpark globe life field. Regardless, 200 plus wins career and a White Sox and a Ranger. Bottom right, Charlie Huff fits the bill that gives us a complete grid of michael young joe nathan max scherzer cliff lee emmanuel classe gaylord perry julio franco ed farmer and charlie Huff. 
Now, as I promised, sometimes I have stories that I want to tell and they just don't fit. I don't want to have the longest video ever. And I monetize now on this channel. So I'm looking for, I've been looking for things to do for members, something extra. And I've decided on what it's going to be. And today's the first one. And I took Ed Farmer. He fit the bill perfectly. And I ran with it. Ed Farmer's got a story. Ed Farmer has a very interesting story. Again, he was only a ranger for a little bit. He fits our immaculate grid very well because he had a, short time here in texas he also had an insane altercation as a texas ranger fan and i go into deep i go deep i go deeper i went deep with ed farmer it's the first members only video now i'm gonna put it for the members only here if you become a member of the channel thank you you're blessing me you're blessing my family i appreciate that and you're saying hey i like your content thank you thank you thank you to anybody and everybody who does that i may put it on my patreon page for the same reason and i will soon be monetized on twitter or x i'll probably put them over there too and what i'm thinking is no promises no guarantees but maybe one a week two I don't know, three or four a month. I'm not really sure how many of these I'm going to do these special videos for members only. But if I can get this into my, you know, schedule of things I'm doing for you guys and for the channel, but I try to do at least one a month where I put it over here publicly. And why would I do that? Well, I want you guys to know what they are. Um, why am I going to ask you to sign up for something you don't even know what you're going to get? So I'll put out maybe one a month that I put out publicly. I'll put it'll be like a commercial for, hey, become a member. I'm not going to. Well, I guess I just did say that. But my point is, I'll be making things for members only here on the channel on x or twitter on patreon wherever you would have members only things for anybody who wants to support what i'm doing here and again i'll put probably one a month or so publicly with a little preview uh, on the beginning of the video hey this and these kinds of things you can get over on the members only i hope that makes sense this will be the first one so watch for that if you become a member you can get it now it's already up before i even upload this video it's already up on the members only page here on youtube um, yeah, and I will be posting the public one here probably in the next hour or two as I'm filming this. The Cowboy game is about to start, so we'll see how long it takes to get this one up. Ed Farmer going deep. It's a pretty cool story. You're going to like it. Here's a here's a little piece of it for you. And again, you'll get the whole thing over here publicly in the next few hours. Thanks for watching. Have the best day ever. Stick around for that little preview of the video. And um, yeah, go Rangers. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. So let's go deep with Ed Farmer. Okay, the pitcher Ed Farmer, he pitched from 1971 to 1983 with a couple years off in there. He was a White Sox player. On May 8th, 1979, Farmer started for us here in Texas in Arlington. The first hitter for the Royals, the first hitter of the game was Frank White, a very good ball player for the Royals for a long time. He got hit in the wrist, broke Frank White's wrist, and White was out for an entire month. Okay, so that was the first bad round to watch the play. And Cowens doesn't run the first. He runs out to Farmer, tackles him from behind without even being seen, gets in a couple punches, connects with a couple punches, all heck breaks loose. The world goes insane. They had to go 15 rounds. These guys have been going for about 15 minutes. It's just so unusual to see a man attack a man from the rear with uh, no, apparently no provocation of the moment. Well, they asked me. You know, what... Be sure to watch for my new series, Going Deep. Episode 1, Ed Farmer, should be out on the YouTube channel shortly. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.